It can be really hard when you feel like you don't belong. Which is why I think it's so wonderful that in Joshua chapter 20, as God's talking about the cities of refuge, which is just a, a chapter that was only nine verses, that in the very last verse of that chapter, in the ninth verse of the chapter, it gives us an indicator that God cares about the people who feel like they don't belong. The cities of refuge were, uh, they were cities of safety. If you had accidentally hurt someone or done something where you thought, boy, there are going to be some repercussions here. Somebody's going to start coming after me. They might want revenge. There was a place where you could go where you could find safety and protection until everything had settled itself and, and, it, was, and it was all good. And, and it says that this was for anyone from any tribe in Israel, which is why there were six of these cities kind of scattered throughout the promised land. And you were always within just a couple of hours walk from a city of refuge, no matter where you lived. But the phrase that the chapter throws in at the end is that is the phrase um, or the aliens <laughs> not like outer space aliens but but it says uh, if you were an Israelite or an alien living among the Israelites you know so so a stranger somebody who wasn't an Israelite somebody who was an add-on a, a tag along somebody who didn't entirely belong there was definitely an attitude among the Israelites of, if you're not an Israelite, we don't really want much to do with you. You know, to what degree that was ever the case, we can't say for sure, but it shows up again and again and again and again in both the Old Testament and the New Testament, where there are people who were living among the Israelites, who are trying to make their home and live their lives among this nation who just didn't feel like they were a part of anything, like they didn't belong. Now, if you're feeling that way today, there are two possible reasons you're feeling that way. Either because you're telling yourself that you don't belong. That there's something you see in yourself or about yourself that makes you believe that you don't belong here. You don't fit in. You're not welcome. Or somebody else is making you feel that way. And that can happen too. Both are hard. But God is never someone who's going to make you feel that way when it comes to God. You belong to God. Just think of the day of Pentecost. So the day of Pentecost happens after Jesus dies on the cross, after he rises from the dead, after he ascends into heaven, and Peter and the disciples, they're with people from all over the place, all over the place. And Peter gives an outstanding sermon he looks at these folks and he says, you guys killed God. Which you would think <laughs> would be like top of the list for, well, these are the types of people who will never belong to God, the people who killed God. <laughs> but then he goes on to say something really remarkable. He tells them to repent and be baptized, every one of you, for the forgiveness of your sins. He says that promise that those who repent and are baptized it's for you, it's for your children, it's for all who are far off from God. You might sometimes feel like you don't belong to God. But in Christ Jesus, you always do. From God's perspective, you're never all that far from Him. He already made you his own. He already cleaned you up. He already embraced you. He already forgave you. You are already his. And in Jesus, you always will be. Rest well tonight, my friends. <laughs>